Corinthian Rishon, 1 Corinthians 8. Now, as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but love edifies. And if any man think that he knows anything, he knows nothing yet as he ought to know. But if any man love Yah, the same is known of him. As concerning, therefore, the eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice unto idols, we know that an idol is nothing in the world, and that there is no other Elohim but one. For though there be that are called Elohim, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be Elohim many, and Adonim many, but to us there is but one Yahweh, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in him, and one Yahuwah, Yahusha, the Mashiach, by whom are all things, and we by him. Howbeit there is not in every man that knowledge, for some with conscience of the idol unto this hour eat it as a thing offered unto an idol, and their conscience being weak is defiled. But meat commends us not to Yahuwah. For neither if we eat are we the better, neither if we eat not are we the worse. But take heed lest by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. For if any man see you which have knowledge sit to eat in the idol's temple, shall not the conscience of him which is weak be emboldened to eat those things which are offered to idols. And through your knowledge shall the weak brother perish, for whom HaMashiach died. But when ye sin so against the brethren, and wound their, rather, wound their weak conscience, ye sin against Mashiach, Wherefore, if meat make my brother to offend, I will eat no flesh while the world stands, lest I make my brother to offend.